Hi, I'm Miss Kate. If you're about to celebrate your first Eucharist, I know you must be very excited. And whether it happens in a modern church like this one or a more traditional church anywhere in the world, you'll be receiving God's greatest gift, Jesus. Everybody in your Catholic faith community had a First Communion, just like I did when I was a little girl. It'll be a wonderful day for you and your family. And the reason you're being invited to come to the celebration of the Eucharist is because you received the sacrament of baptism. When most of us were baptized into the Catholic Church, we were infants, just a few weeks old. We can hardly be expected to remember all the events of that day. Baptism is the sacrament of welcome into the Catholic faith community. It is a sacrament that we share with everyone in the church family. As you look around at the parish community, everyone you see, no matter how old or how young, has been baptized, just like you were. At the time for the ceremony or rite of baptism, the church uses four important symbols to help us all understand the meaning of the sacrament of baptism. When we are baptized, God gives us the gift of grace. We become part of Christ's church. Water is a sign of faith that goes back thousands of years to the time God saved the Hebrew people from slavery in Egypt. God helped the people go through the sea without drowning so they could reach the other side safely. For Christians, the water, whether we are immersed into it or it is poured over us, becomes a sign of Jesus Christ's death and resurrection from the dead. Through this action of Christ, we are saved from sin just as the Hebrew people were saved from slavery. By going through the water, we are joined to Jesus Christ. With Him, we are God's true sons and daughters. After our baptism with water, we are given a white garment or covering. This shows that we are saved from sin and full of the life of Christ. We are given a candle to show that we are to let our faith shine brightly for all to see. The priest traces the cross on our foreheads with holy oil. These are all symbols of our membership in God's special family, the church, and signs of our being joined together with Jesus Christ as his disciples or followers who will continue his work in the world. are preparing to receive the sacrament of the Eucharist for the first time. Our First Communion will be a very special day for us. On that day, we will become full members of the faith community. We will share in the bread and wine that has become the body and blood of Jesus Christ. In our celebration of the Eucharist, we will see many of the signs that were used when we were baptized and some other signs that are used at Mass. When we come into the church for Mass, there is usually holy water. We dip our hand into the water and make the sign of the cross. When we do this, we remember our baptism. We remember that it was through baptism that we became members of the faith community. We can see that there are candles lit in the front of the church, especially the Paschal candle. This candle is a sign of Jesus Christ, our light. It reminds us of our baptismal candle and our being the light of faith for other people. When Mass begins, the priest greets us as he greeted us on our baptismal day. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. The priest asks us to call to mind our sins so we can ask God to help us be better followers of Jesus. Then we listen to the Word of God proclaimed from the Bible. These readings at Mass help us recall all the wonderful things God has done for us. The first reading is from the Old Testament, that part of the Bible that was written before Jesus was born. The second reading is usually from one of the letters in the early Christian church. These letters offer advice about how to be good followers of Jesus. The Word of the Lord. Then we stand while the priest or deacon reads the gospel from one of the four books of gospels or good news. They tell us how Jesus lived and taught his followers. The Gospel of the Lord. 
After the Gospel, we sit and listen to the priest or deacon preach a homily about how we can live as Jesus' followers. Next, during the prayer of the faithful, we offer petitions or prayers of need for the members of our faith community. We ask God to continue caring for his people as he has always done. We call these readings, the homily and the prayer of the faithful, the liturgy of the word. Through the liturgy of the word, Jesus enters our hearts and helps us live as his followers. In the second part of the Mass, the Liturgy of the Eucharist, we prepare the altar and bring the gifts that will be used in the celebration. Bread and wine are brought to the altar, and the priest prays a prayer of blessing. He asks God to accept these simple gifts that will soon become Christ's body and blood. Jesus Christ is really with us. The bread is made of wheat. Later, the priest will break it, just as Jesus did at the Last Supper. This shows that we are all part of the one body of Christ. We are all one, even though each of us is a special individual person. The wine is made from grapes, and many of us drink it from one cup. In Jesus Christ, we are one body, one blood. After our gifts have been prepared, the priest begins the Eucharistic prayer. During this part of the Mass, the priest recalls the events of Jesus' Last Supper with the disciples and speaks the words of Jesus. This is my body, which will be given up for you. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The priest prays for the whole church and the whole world and the special intentions of the parish community. The priest declares that it is with, in, and through Christ that all honor and glory are given to God our Father. We answer, Amen. to show that we believe that we are in the presence of Jesus Christ who died for us and rose from the dead. Together we pray the prayer that Jesus taught us, our Father. Then we share the greeting of peace because we are about to share in the life of Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. We wish all good things for each other. We hope to be peacemakers in our families and to spread God's peace throughout the world. Now we are ready to join the whole faith community in receiving the Eucharist. We bow before we receive the Eucharist. We are welcoming Jesus into our hearts. We say amen when the priest says, the body of Christ. And after we are presented with the cup, the blood of Christ. We welcome Jesus into our hearts. We sing the communion hymn with the faith community to show that we are all united with Jesus. After the communion rite, the priest blesses us. The priest or deacon tells us that now that the Mass is over, we are to go out into our families and communities to help others understand the wonderful good news of Jesus Christ. Your First Communion really is something to celebrate. And though things may look a little different at your church, most of what you've seen will be the same. And most importantly, starting now, you'll be receiving God's greatest gift every week. Eucharist truly is a gift that will last your whole life.